Hello world, Becky here from Inside the Square coming at you with another CSS tutorial. Today we're actually going to be using a little bit of HTML to pull off a very unique style where we're going to feature two fonts in one line. So here I have an example for you. We have the headline before, which is what it looks like with just one standard font. And then underneath it, I have the headline after, and this is where I'm featuring a different font on the same line as that headline. So a quick breakdown of how this works, because let's be honest, it's a little complicated. <laughs> First step is to install the font file on your site. The second step will be to name the font in your custom CSS. And then the third step is to use that name in your HTML code block. So let's get to this. We're going to do all three steps together today. First and foremost, we need to install the font file on the site. So currently, to do this effect here, I actually already installed one. So I'm going to go back and remove it and show you how to do that. To install a font file, we need to add this as a custom file to Squarespace. So I'm going to click Design, and then down to Custom CSS. Now you'll see here I already have this font code. I'm going to go ahead and remove that so we can do this step by step together, OK? So I already have my font file ready. I'm just going to drag and drop it right there. So it'll upload into the custom files of my Squarespace website. Alrighty. So the next step is to name the font in my custom CSS. This code is beneath the video, but I'll go ahead and show you how this works. We'll paste it in here together. Now see there are two parts of this code that we need to change. The first one is the font name, and the second is the URL. Now this URL was just generated when we created the custom file in our Squarespace website. So I'm going to remove that filler text between the two parentheses there, and I can click on the file, and it will be placed right where my cursor was. Did you see that? Let's do this again. I removed that filler text. I select Manage Custom Files, and I clicked on the file name, and it inserted the URL that that file has. OK. Now the next part is the font name. This is entirely up to you. This is just what you're going to use when you call it out in code. So make it simple and easy to remember. Uh, this font name is actually Lemon Tuesday. So I'm just going to go ahead and call it Lemon. And we'll have that as our placeholder text. So that's the font we just named with our custom CSS. All right, most important step here. Select Save when you're done. OK, so we installed the font file on the site. We named it in the custom CSS. Now let's check out how to name it in the HTML. I'm going to select edit for my on-page content and edit right here so we can take a look at this code. So we'll start off by adding an H1 and we'll just say example title. Oops, except I'll spell it correctly. There we go. And then when we're ready to use our unique font, we need to use a special piece of HTML code called a spanned style. So this is explaining um, in HTML code that this particular style is only going to apply to what's typed between these two sets of brackets, OK? So we'll walk through this one together. I'm going to type span style equals, and this part's really important, quotation mark, font dash family. And then we name the font. We picked lemon for this one. See why it's good to pick one that's easy to remember? All right, and then we close our brackets. And immediately, this is a great thing that Squarespace code blocks do. It ends the bracket for us. So whatever we type is going to be the only thing applied to this style. So then we can say alternative font. And you'll see we now have two different fonts being displayed on one line. Now, the greatest part about using this technique is it doesn't just have to apply to your headings. You can make it an H2 if you want instead. You can make it paragraph text if you want. Wherever you want to use that font, all you have to do is make sure you call it out here in the HTML with your span style. OK? All right, when you're done, select Apply. And don't forget to hit Save on that page itself. And again, the codes are beneath the video. The first step is to install the fonts on your site. To get there, you go to, on the main menu here, you go to Design, Custom CSS, Manage Custom Files, and drop the font file right there. Now, the second step is to name that font in your custom CSS. That's the code beneath this video. And here we just change the name of the font family. And this is where we put the URL for your file. And then the third step is to use that name in HTML. And this is where we've added a code block. And we've used span style font family. OK? Awesome. That's it for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching and have fun with your Squarespace website. 
If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. Download it now at insidethesquare.co slash CSS.